Bible reading today, we will never give up on Bible reading. Bible reading is essential. It is important. It is the basis of our relationship with God and our growth in our fellowship with God. Hallelujah. So today I'll be reading from Revelation chapter 7 and the vision is the new international vision. Uh, it's not how you feel. It's not how you see the person that is encouraging you, but it is about your relationship with God. It doesn't matter whether a, tone, a stone is speaking. It does not matter whether, you know, someone you see as a saint is speaking. It does not matter. What matters is, are we reading our Bible? Today, I am here to encourage you to read your Bible. Uh, do not look at me. Do not look at how I am dressed or how I am speaking. Do not even look at my accent or anything, but just uh, <clears throat> do not even look at how you feel, whether you feel like reading the Bible or not. Uh, this is a must. As I always say, fishes don't do don't have a life out of the water so are we with the word of god we do not have a life out of the word of god and this book of revelation right from the first chapter it promises blessings just from reading and listening hallelujah so today you it's your choice whether you want to read and listen and or you want to listen or you want to read either way god has promised blessings just by reading not even talking of meditating on on the bible or, or going into deep study of it just by reading and listening god has promised blessings and it doesn't matter who is encouraging you what do they look like it doesn't matter what i look like what matters is the message that i have the message that i have is the good news from heaven every day we listen to cnn we listen to sky news we listen to bbc we listen to to africa bc you know we listen to to fox news but there is news from heaven we need to listen it is a must it is a must, whether we like it or not, whether we feel like it or not. So today, I am on Revelation chapter 7. So I am encouraging you to join me. This could be your chance today to, 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 for this seed to develop in you to read the Bible always and be blessed. Hallelujah. The New International Version. The topic is 144,000. I'll start from verse 1 and I'm reading the whole chapter. After this, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth to prevent any wind from blowing on the land or on the sea or on on any tree then i saw another angel coming from the east having the seal of the living god he called out in a large vo in a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm the land and the sea do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until we put a seal on the foreheads of the servants of our god then I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. From the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Reuben, 12,000. From the tribe of God, 
12,000. From the tribe of Asher, 12,000. From the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000. From the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000. From the tribe of Simeon, 12,000. From the tribe of Levi, 12,000. From the tribe of Issachar, 12,000. From the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000. From the tribe of Joseph, 12,000. From the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000. I'm going to the other subtopic of the same chapter. Let us flow together. The, the, the great multitude in white robes. The great multitude in white robes. Hallelujah. After this I looked, and before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches, and they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 13. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white, who are they? And where did they come from? I answered, Say, you know. And he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and they serve him day and night. Hallelujah. In his, in his temple and he sits on the throne. Hallelujah. And he who sits, sorry, and he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamp at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living waters. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Hallelujah. Receive your blessings from listening to this chapter. Receive your blessings from reading with me this chapter. Receive your blessings, double blessings, from even going over this chapter and looking for key points. Receive double blessings again hallelujah for meditating on this chapter hallelujah we shall meditate on the word of god day and night hallelujah men shall not live on bread alone but by every word that comes from the lord hallelujah as i was reading this chapter i could hear god speaking loudly saying listen to my word listen to my word read my word read my word like spend time on make time for this word make time for this word i could just hear the voice of god with so much uh, energy Uh, saying, listen to this word, read this word, make time for my word.
in jesus name be you blessed let's meet again in the next uh, video when we are reading revelation uh, verse uh, chapter 8 and we will be as well as i said meditating and taking key points so just keep an eye on this platform god really wants you to 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 establish you, yourselves in the word hallelujah in the living waters in jesus mighty name